guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another palette bingo. I've been having a lot of fun doing these on my channel. If you guys have missed out on the last couple of palette bingos that I've done, definitely go check those out after the video. But just as a little bit of a brief rundown, essentially what I do is I choose a palette and then I also use a random generator to pick four shadows then I have to come up with an eye look using those four eyeshadows I can use other shadows from the palette but I have to include at least those four shadows so today I wanted to do a more colorful palette so I decided to pull out my Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette I thought this would be a perfect palette for this palette bingo the way that I'm numbering these is I'm gonna start with this one and this is going to be one it's going to go one and then on the outside two three four five all the way until right here which is 17 and then I'm gonna start right here as number 18 and it's gonna go again in this direction and this will be shade number 24 as you guys will see I have in this generator 1 through 24 the first number that I got is this number 23 so number 23 is a neutral shadows this is the shade skulls looks like a nice sort of like satiny type of white color nothing too exciting just yet but that may be useful depending on what other colors we pick out also just for reference this is a swatch of it on the back of my hand the next number that I got is the number 15 15 is this really bright yellow shade and it is the color Fran and again, here is a swatch of the shade Fran's. Very, very, very bright. The next number that I got is this number 18. So number 18 is this really boring shadow molder. This is like the most basic shadow in this entire palette and I chose it, so. I put that shade right there on the top. All right, and then the next number that we got is the number 16. The last color that I chose was 16 which is this matte orange shade in the shade analog and again here is analog on the bottom swatched so I know I usually only do four shadows but I think since I got that like nude shadow that I would have used anyways I'm gonna go ahead and pick a, another number just to like add a little bit more color hopefully the last number I picked is the number eight Eight is this dark navy blue color. My swatch skills are on something today, but <laughs> here's all the swatches of the five colors that I have to work with today. First, I want to just go ahead and even everything out, so I'm going to be picking up this shadow molder and applying this all over my lid. I still honestly can't believe of all the colorful shadows in this palette. I, of course, picked up the most neutral looking shadow in this whole entire palette. That is crazy to me. I'm really feeling this Fran shade, so I'm just going to go ahead and blow this shade out all over my lid and in my crease. I feel like I want this to be like the central focus of this look is this yellow shade. I think it is so stunning, so I'm really going to like pack this color on all over. I'm actually kind of sad I haven't been using this palette that much lately because this is definitely one of my favorite favorite like palettes to work with it's like so stunning you can do so many looks with it I just I, I think I've gotten so many other shadows that like I just don't reach for this one the same way I used to I think I might want to build that up a little bit more and like make things a little bit more precise but I'm just gonna leave it for now and I'm gonna go in with the orange shadow that I picked out the shade analog and with this shadow I'm gonna go ahead and just like pop this into my crease. I just want to like deepen that up a bit. I don't want to overdo it because I have a tendency to do that. So I'm just taking a little little product at a time. I'm putting this color also on the outer V of my eye as well. So next I'm going to be picking up the shade Dark Wave. And I think I'm going to use this shadow to kind of like give myself a little bit of a blue wing. So this brush is from Royal and Ling Nickel. I'm hoping this is going to turn out okay. So I'm just going to be very gentle and kind of like press that into my lashes and then of course extend that out just a bit so if you notice I only went about halfway in to my eye I don't think I want to go all the way in I think it'll like smudge up a bit but I just wanted to start it at about halfway and kind of like wing it out so next I'm going to mix a little bit of Fran and Skulls together and I'm popping this on the inner corner of my eye so, I forgot to hit record when I was doing my lower lash lines. 
so that's awesome. But all you guys missed is I took a little bit of the shade Fran and smoked out my lower lash line and then also took a little bit of the shade Analog and just kind of like ran that on the outer thirds of my eyes just to deepen it up a little bit and that pretty much completes this look. I had so much fun doing this palette bingo with this Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. I think this is like the funnest palette to kind of do this palette bingo with. I definitely want to do this again on my channel. I think that I could come up with a ton of different looks for all of the different colors that are in here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up and until next time guys, bye!